Hello everyone, today we'll be looking back at an almost 12 year old GPU, the HD 5750. How does it still hold up in popular titles like CSGO, Rocket League and Rainbow Six Siege? Also, we'll be overclocking this old chap just to see how much more performance it still has in it. To find out more about the history of this GPU, I suggest checking out my first video, although it's kind of rough. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Game benchmark first and then a quick OC guide. Quick specs. Xeon X5650 clocked at 4.2 GHz, 12 GB of DDR3 1700 MHz CL9, and of course, an Asus HD 5750. First up, CSGO. I tested this game at 1080p with all details on low and shadows on high. In the first in-game benchmark we got a good score, yet in the online match the game was barely playable, with some dips into the 30s. When we overclocked the GPU we saw a good 17% uplift in online average and a 23% increase in the benchmark. Overall, very decent for 1080p, although I would suggest going for 900p for a more consistent experience. Next up, we have Rocket League, tested here at 1080p with render quality on quality and render detail on detail. We averaged out 52 FPS, which got bumped to 56 with the OC for a 9% uplift. Overall, very playable and maybe even competitive. To get a 60% 60 FPS average, I had to drop some settings even lower or reduce the resolution. Rainbow Six Siege is up next. Here tested at 720p with all the settings set to the absolute lowest. I had to test with this setting because the GPU had barely enough VRAM for the settings and we were already at 981 megabytes out of 1024 used. Not a good start. Yet we managed to score a 42 FPS average and bumped up 23% to 55 FPS when overclocked. Almost playable, yet I would not recommend. Last game I tested was the ever so popular Minecraft version 1.16.5. All settings were set to the max, aka fancy, and again 1080p. Here we saw a sweet 176 FPS average boosted another 25% to 213 FPS when overclocked. Overall, extremely playable. Okay, it is Minecraft, but is latest version maxed out. Props for this GPU. Now that we got through the numbers, let's show you how to overclock this GPU. Disclaimer: I am not responsible for any damage of the graphics card. This is your responsibility only. Okay, with that out of the way, let's get into it. First thing, you're gonna need a software called MSI Afterburner. It is linked in the description. Once you install it, you will be prompted with this interface. Now, from what I gathered on the internet, almost every GPU can hit 850 MHz on the clock and 1200 MHz on the memory. So just dial these settings. From here, test with software like Formark, and if it's stable for about 10 minutes, increase the clock setting by 50 MHz and the memory by 20. Keep going until you hit instability, such as artifacts or, and or crashing, and then dial it back by about 20 MHz on each. Another important tip. Make sure that the GPU doesn't pass the ATC or 176 Fahrenheit. After this point you might get black screens, as I did. Also make sure the memory on the back side of the GPU gets cooled, as that may cause instability too. And with that said, we reached the end of the video. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them down in the comments. And if you like the video, make sure to leave a like. And see you in the next one.